GTA Online just got a big update that affects how players make their money in game and the reception to it has gone just about as you would expect. It's entirely negative. What Rockstar has done here is completely par for the course to be honest too, so brace yourself because today on the show, we're gonna be breaking down everything they changed, why this is important for players grinding money to the ultimate highest degree in the game, but also why this outcome should have been expected because it's just too powerful, game breaking, and it overall just goes against Rockstar's general structure and philosophy for GTA Online money making, as well as player progression. So as we jump into things here, if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So first things first, the necessity for these patches stems from a growing concern over game balance and player progression, and over the past few weeks what we've seen is Rockstar Games systematically addressing several different exploits through background updates, and each patch here is aimed to close loopholes that players have been using to sidestep the game's intended economic system and progression here. These exploits often involve replaying high reward missions or even manipulating game mechanics to gain large amounts of money without the usual time investment or the gameplay challenge that otherwise is required to obtain those rewards. And so by closing these exploits, Rockstar is probably hoping here to restore some type of level playing field where success and progression are the results of player skill as well as time commitment, which of course is going to align their long-term vision for GTA Online. But nonetheless, players are not happy, so let's discuss exactly what they changed. The initial round of patches by Rockstar Games focus on curving prevalent exploits used by players to gain substantial amounts of money easily here, and one of the primary issues was addressed with the Dr. Dre $2 million job glitch, which is exclusive to PC, which allowed players to earn $2 million repeatedly by exploiting a specific job scenario with the character Dr. Dre, of course, in the Dre contract. And Rockstar patched this to ensure that the reward can only be earned in line with the intended gameplay mechanics. Again, another significant exploit here, the replay Cluck and Bell farm raid finale with a friend basically enabled players to replay the mission finale multiple times with a friend, which bypasses the normal game restrictions and cooldowns applied to it. And so the patch fixed this by altering how the mission completions were tracked and implemented cooldowns to prevent such replays like this. Additionally here, the adjustments were also made to correct an issue where players mixed up objectives from the Slush Fund mission with the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid finale, which of course led to unintended reward manipulations because you weren't doing the finale for the finale payout, you were doing the Slush Fund mission for the finale payout. In the second phase of these patch updates, Rockstar Games also addressed another major exploit with the Infinite Kyo Perico replay glitch. This is a glitch here that allowed players to repeatedly complete that Kyo Perico heist without the standard operational resets and of course that cooldown that's associated with it. Thus, players could basically farm substantial amounts of money extremely fast and definitely unfairly here. The update also effectively closed this loophole by adjusting the games and the heist reset mechanics to ensure that players must adhere to the intended gameplay restrictions as well as the timelines and the cooldowns associated with it. We'll probably see some bypasses and workarounds for this in the future, but nonetheless, that is one of the changes. In the third round of updates here, Rockstar Games also significantly expanded the scope of their patches to encompass a wider range of popular heists and contracts, which again, effectively applying a comprehensive fix to the replay glitch that was previously PC only that we discussed here. So this update extended the replay glitch patch not only to include that Cluck and Bell farm raid finale, but also the original GTA Online heists, the Doomsday heists, the Casino heists, all approaches to the Cayo Perico heist, as well as the tuner contracts. Most specifically and most notably, the biggest one, the Union Depository contract. And so by doing so, Rockstar aims here to ensure that level playing field and that fair playing field across the game's most profitable activities here. This is gonna prevent players from exploiting these missions to generate money in ways that basically just bypass the intended purpose and of course the progression that's associated with all of these because you need to play through lots of different preps and setups before you get to the finale, but obviously players were bypassing that. And then finally here in the fourth patch, Rockstar Games also introduced a targeted update specifically for PC players here, extending their efforts to combat even more replay glitches. And so again, this update specifically focused on preventing players from exploiting the game replay glitches through the pause menu in specific, particularly when you're launching playlists. And so by patching this loophole, they further tighten the game's integrity against methods that allowed players to repeatedly farm these missions for monetary gain. So now with that in mind, you could probably see where Rockstar is going with all of these updates, fixes, and patches. They obviously don't want players 
players exploiting any game mechanic to skip replays or even farm money faster from heights and other high paying content like the contract without any sort of cooldown or method using a playlist to play the finale mission to skip all the prep work and the setups like we were talking about. If you have been someone who has been abusing these glitches, honestly, you should have seen it coming that it wouldn't last forever. So, you know, be thankful that you got the money while you can, right? Rockstar won't be doing any sort of currency resets or anything like that. This isn't entirely game breaking like the DNS money glitches back in the day or the one we had a few years ago. I forget what that was in regards to, but either way, I do know that they did like reset people's currency back to what it was before. I don't think they handed out any permanent bans or anything like that, but they may have money wiped some people every now and again. That being said though, really what they're trying to do here is just close up and patch up these loopholes that's allowing people to get this money. Unfortunately though, this has ruined the fun of the game for many people and that's kind of like the premise of today's video because now they're progressing slower but they're really realistically what they're doing here is progressing at the same rate as everyone else and at, at the rate that everyone else has to as well honestly no shame if you participated in this since it was a good opportunity but i don't even care about the fact that this was a thing modders and mod menu users on pc are a much bigger actual problem in comparison but i think the problem the community has as a whole right now is that they're just bored with the state of gta online and they're resorting to these exploits so they can at least maximize their efficiency in progressing on the game and making money without putting so much time and personal resources into playing, Rockstar's made this game feel like a chore, and honestly, that's on them. I personally find the game really fun right now. I've enjoyed it so much more since that Criminal Enterprises DLC came out when we started getting all the quality of life updates that have allowed us to grind our businesses and most content in the game now in solo lobbies. I also recognize the current state of GTA isn't for everyone, and many just want that quick $50 million without putting in the 30 to 40-ish gameplay hours it would actually take to accumulate that money, but the journey remains part of the fun and the magic of this game. You have a whole open world to explore and try out new things, and while there's costs associated with all this, whether it's through grinding or shark card purchases, there's still so much fun to be had while you play the game, and if you just accept the game for what it is instead of always trying to resist what Rockstar built and fight the systems they put in place, I think you will have some fun. And if not, then that's okay for you to put the game down. This doesn't need to be a game that you just grind, because if you force it, you will start to resent it. I learned that with Red Dead Online, and I'm applying that same mindset to this game. But with all that being said, that's all the news and changes. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and of course, Rockstar Games content as a whole, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we will keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA 5 online video. Adios, amigos.